Namaste and a very good morning, children. So today we are going to start with a new chapter that is tux paint. Yes, so you all like tux paint. I know you all love to draw in tux paint. So we'll be discussing some good features of tux paint so that you can make more good projects or sceneries by using all these features in tux paint. Okay, so let's start. So here is my tux paint on the screen and see children uh, first how to start it just you have to double click on the tux paint icon once you install that tux paint I have already told you that how to install the tux paint or on the page number 25 there is an online link also given from where you can download it right. So once you download the and you will open this first screen opens up. This is first screen where the, uh, which opens when you open the Tuxpaint software. And here I'll just briefly tell you what all uh, this uh, software or this window contains. The leftmost side are the tools. So there's at 14 different tools which you can say paint, stamp, lines, and shapes all are there okay the other side is the called sub toolbox so whatever tool we are selecting here the option of that tool will open this side so that's why it is called sub toolbox okay and then down we have a color palette so different colors are there even you can click on the last option and you'll get all these colors whichever you want you can click and you can get that also okay so this is a basic review. And the one most important thing, this penguin. This penguin is our friend. Yes, why is our friend? When you click anything, it gives you instruction. If you don't know that how this particular tool or something works, it gives you instruction. So let's see, I'm clicking on ABC. So what it's saying, choose a style of text, click on your drawing and you can start typing. So it gives you instruction. So if I'm clicking on paint, it's telling us, Pick a color and a brush shape to draw with. So this is how this our friend penguin help us while using tux paint software. So we'll just start on page number 26. If you'll see with the paint brush, there is a drawing drawn. So we'll I'll be starting in a sequence from page number 26. First, we'll take a brush and we'll just draw a background of it. So what's drawn there first is you simply have to or always when you are drawing always move your hand in a free way. You don't have to use lines for the mountains or something always use brush because in nature also if you see these things are not perfectly uh, drawn in a triangle shape or something. These are always have a wave to it right. So you will also, also draw it like this so that it, it, it will give a natural look. Now, after this, there is a one uh, blue color. There is a river also drawn here. So we'll draw it like this. Okay. Then just go to magic and there is an option fill. Uh, some of you can see that fill option here also because it, uh, it is different in version to version. So wherever you'll find in magic fill or fill in these tools only, you can just check that and then color it. Here you will color blue and here you will color brown, right? So we are little ready with our background. And what else is there? You have to just draw a sun. This all you have to do with what? You have to do all this with brush only. We are not using any stamp. We are not using any line tool. So here I'll just click and I'll color this. So the sun is also ready. Now, second option given is haze brush. Now, what is haze? It gives a hazy look, little blurry look. So, which one is that? If you'll see from here, this the right side, it's the third one. And if you'll count it like this, sixth one. So, this is a hazy brush. Now, for the clouds, we can use that. So, just take a little darker blue color from here. And now, I'm drawing a cloud here. Now, so you, can, you must you know, again notice that there is a it's a little blurry coming here. Yes, so that's how it draws. And then you can draw a grass also with this effect only here uh, near the mountains like this. So it will give little hazy effect like this. As you want, you can draw. 
So if you move it little up and down here, then also it gives a nice effect and then you can simply color it. With the magic, you'll go and you'll just simply fill it like this. So once you have colored, it will give you a nice effect like this. So it's uh, showing, oh, sorry, it's looking very natural, right? So, but if you use particular shapes and lines, then uh, it will not look natural. So always use brush. Then after that, you have a brick magic option. So this is in your page number 27, it is used to make a hat. So what we'll do here is we'll go to magic option and we'll look for bricks. So these are bricks options. So I'm going for this bricks, I'll take a brown color or whatever color you want, you can take and you can just simply draw bricks like this here. So this I have drawn, okay? And then I have to draw the upper part. So I'll be using triangles uh, or triangle, sorry, or I can use lines. So that is your choice. Whatever you want to use, you can use that. So let's check with the triangle first. Sometimes when you use these triangles and all, uh, it gives a problem of adjusting it because uh, wherever you have made it, it will just come there only. It can move, but it will come there only. So I'm just undoing it. Let's draw it with lines only. So just draw a line here like this first, first line and then go above and then touch it like this. And then we can simply fill it with color. So this is better option in case you feel like that uh, you are not able to adjust that shape there, okay? Or first draw the shape and then draw bricks. That way also it can work. Then uh, with this shape, we can make a little uh, door also here that can you can give any color to it uh, like this, okay? A window or a door, whatever. So this is how the hut is also complete. And then after that, we have, there is one option that is grass. So if we want to give a grass effect, there is a grass option. And very interesting feature about grass is that grass always comes in what color? It always comes in green color. See. Yes. So if I'm taking it red color also, then also it's coming green. A tone of green. It can be a lighter or a darker, but it will come a tone of green only. So after this fill color, I have already told you, then we have a flowers option. So to complete this drawing, we'll be just using this last option here, that is flowers. So I'm taking flowers from magic and giving colors. Now this red color flower, purple color flower, blue color flower. One very interesting thing here also, I would like to tell you, these flowers are coming a straight way, but it is not always possible that is a straight uh, flower is there. Yes, it can have a baby same also. So how to draw that? So it give, Tuxpin gives us option for that even. So let's go for orange one. And once you click your magic wand, uh, see, it gives you a dotted line that where you want to move your flower. So if you'll move it like this and then leave it, see, now it is coming like this. Let's go for a pink one and I'll show you again. See, a wave is there. So this is how we can make a baby ones also. So I hope you all understood it, how I made this. So this drawing is there on uh, page number 28, figure 3.11. The similar one we have drawn here. So you all also practice it. And in case you face any problem, you can ask me in next class and uh, show me whatever you have drawn that also in our class, okay? So that's all children. Thank you so much. Next time we'll be discussing more features of the tax paint. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.